As a painting, the portrait of Armand Roulon is not one of Vincent's most famous. Dr. Gachet and his parents, postman Joseph Roulon and Augustine Roulon, Le Bassouze, are far better known. And sitting as it does in Folkswang Museum in off the tourist track Essen, it is not seen by nearly as many people as his younger brother Camille, the painter Eugene Bot, or the unnamed Zouave even, that are in collections of museums such as Musée d'Orsay and the Van Gogh Museum. As a person, Armand Roulon didn't have the significance in Vincent's life that his father, Joseph Roulon, who was Vincent's faithful friend, had, nor Père Tanguy, Vincent's loyal supporter in Paris, who helped him by exchanging painting supplies for Vincent's paintings, nor the mercurial Dr. Gachet, who was his doctor at the end, nor even the 13-year-old Adeline Raveau, who was an eyewitness to his death. Indeed, at various points in our scriptwriting journey, the portraits Dr. Gachet, his daughter Marguerite Gachet, Adeline Raveau, the painter Eugène Bock, and Postman Roulon were the main characters in the film. However, they all had strong and positive views about Vincent, and part of what we wanted to achieve with loving Vincent was to win people over to Vincent who didn't already know and love him. And so we wanted a main character who started out rather indifferent to Vincent and could, during the film, become drawn into the mystery and magic of Vincent's world and the tragedy of his untimely death. To us, the painting of Armand Roulon is one of Vincent's very finest portraits, and we initially brought him into the film for a cameo appearance simply because we love the painting. But once there, the handsome and rather insouciant face of the young blacksmith Armand Roulon spoke to us. As soon as we started writing him into the script, he seemed to fit, and his character expanded until the point we made him the driving force in the story. It was only after completing most of our shooting that I had the opportunity to fly to Essen to see this painting in the flesh. The museum very kindly let myself and our head of painting, Piotr Dominiak, view the portrait while the museum was closed. We spent an incredible hour alone with the painting of Armand Roulon, our unlikely hero. <laughs>